Guys, I want to welcome you back to the channel. This is the Digital Review. I'm your host, Mike, and this guy right here is the ASICS Quantum Gel 90. This guy right here is a shoe that I actually found and I wasn't looking for, but I'm glad I picked it up. Uh, it's durable, it's comfortable, it's flexible, it works indoor and outdoor, and I think it might be the shoe for you if you're someone that just likes to train at random. So, give me a few seconds, I'm going to tell you all about it, I'm going to tell you what I think, what I would grade it, who it's for, and also what the company rates it as as well, and I'll do that in a few seconds. Be right back. By the way, if you're wondering if my glasses are crooked, it's not my glasses, it's just my head. But these are blue blockers, they're not prescription. If you are someone that is looking at cell phones, computers, some of the newer TVs for more than an hour a day, I would recommend you definitely get a pair of blue blockers. Uh, do a little test. They send a little light with it. And you look at you put it on something, you look at it, and then you put the glasses on, you look at it, it you can tell the difference from, from the beginning right there. So um, get you a pair of blue blockers, save your eyes. You don't want your eyes looking all yellow and reddish all the time. I went through that for years and didn't understand what it was. But now that I know, I'm trying to put you up on game two. Pick up a pair of blue blockers. All right, back to the video. So, welcome back. It is uh, December 17th and it's almost Christmas. Can't believe how fast this year has gone by. And you might be out looking for a pair of running shoes, whether it be for yourself or for a gift for someone else. I'm here to talk about these today. These are the A6 Quantum Gel 90. They are classified as a running shoe. That is a lot to say, so that's the last time I'm gonna say that. I'll just refer to them as Gel 90. Um, but they are classified as a running shoe. Now, before I get into my thoughts on the shoe and how I found them, how I use them, who I think they're for, etc. I'm gonna do what I always do. I'm gonna to read to you what the website says because I like for you guys to get an accurate view of what the company you know, is trying to portray them as. Drafting off the design of the performance-driven Gel Quantum 360 silhouette, the Gel Quantum 90 two sneaker fuses a technical design that's layered with even more gel technology. Now this is what they're calling the gel technology. This stuff right here, okay base cushioning than its predecessor, implementing a mesh upper that wraps the forefoot with excellent support and airflow. The shoe is also complemented with bold gel branding on the heel. That's, again, it's right here on the heel, so you can see that. While reflective details accent the tiger stripes on the sides. Created with a balanced blend of support and long-lasting comfort, this shoe features our injection AVA technology or EVA technology in the midsole for a more energized response while the gel technology base cushioning in the heel helps accentuate shock from impact. Supplying advanced comfort with a technical design, the Gel Quantum 92 sneaker continues to redefine the limits of cushioning for performance-driven offerings. Now, there's another paragraph, I'm gonna wait and get to that one in a minute, but these guys, you can tell they are more technical, they're more about their running. They, I've never been an ASICS guy, but I'm also not a runner. So as I'm running more, I'm seeing more runners wear ASICS. And you can tell, um, I've never heard this for a Adidas or Nike shoe, and it's the following. Made for someone with a neutral pronation. I had to look up what pronation meant. And basically it means, you know, if your foot's in the shoe like this, does your foot tend to lean this way? Is it neutral or does it lean this way? I'd never heard of that before, but that's, that's runner stuff right there. Uh, just reading that off the website, let me know that these guys are serious or a little bit more serious about their running shoe, their technology, etc. They want to educate their customers. Their, their customers are probably more educated um, and they probably run more miles. So. That right there should let you know if you're somebody that's looking to run five to 10 miles a day, 25 miles a week, that kind of thing. Uh, this is more of the brand. Now this may not be the shoe, but this is more of the brand, the the line of shoe that you wanna look at over just your casual you know, Adidas or Nike runner that I can run one to three miles in and I can also train in, okay? I caught these at a discount price. I caught them at $44.99. I wasn't even looking for running shoes. I saw them, I tried them on. And like most of my running shoes, the fit was great from day one. 
Um, I have a hard time buying shoes if they don't fit good from day one. <clears throat> now, it wasn't the best fit, but it fit pretty good. It was very comfortable. It was wide through here. Let's just turn it around. It was wide through here, so it wasn't gripping my foot. Um, they actually feel like a flat runner. If you've ever had like the Nike Revolution series, um, I don't know what Adidas has that's flat, but if you've ever had the Nike Revolution series or maybe even the Pegasus, they feel like a flat shoe. Uh, there's not a lot of arc in here. You don't get that fluff in the back and then flat through the forefoot. It's, it feels like a flat shoe. Um, it is breathable. They say this is mesh through here. Let's get closer. This is mesh. And I agree, it is breathable. Your feet will not get hot in these shoes. So I looked to the website and I wanted to find out, okay, what kind of deal did I just get on these? Uh, these are actually running for $85 on, on the A6 website. Now you might be able to get, you know, Zapados or some other shoe depot type thing for a cheaper price. But on the A6 website, these are running for $85. They come in 13 different colorways. Um, I like that because I'm a person that, you know, I might buy these in gray and then go back and get something that's like red and blue combo kind of thing. I love red. I like how red shoes look. I'm getting into like the oranges and all that. So I was happy to see that they had all these different colors in this shoe. Um, I don't want to spend $85 on them, but they are worth $85. Moving right into the fit and the feel of the comfort. So... When you put these on, like I said, they feel like a flat shoe. There's not a lot of arch in the back, and it's for someone that has a medium to wide foot, which is great. I'm gonna show that to you right there first. I do not have the narrow high arching foot. I have a lower arch, uh, but I feel supported when I run in these. I don't feel like I'm gonna hurt. I don't feel like it's gonna turn left or right. I'm not gonna sprain an ankle when I'm running in these. Um, I feel very good. Now, when you put your foot in, and you wear them for day one, day two, day three, you know, they break in as you wear them. By day 10, these bad boys have molded to your foot and I like that. Um, I like that a lot because again, if you're gonna get a flat shoe, you don't wanna feel like you're coming down on cement, you know, it molds to your foot. Um, that's gonna prove very useful to me um, going forward running in these shoes. I probably run about 10 miles a week total about 10 miles a week when it comes to treadmill when it comes to um getting back and forth to different exercises when you're training and then doing like high intensity training i probably log about 10 miles a week so i have not come home one time saying these are a bad shoe um i wish i would have taken them back my feet don't hurt in these um that is great i actually wear an ankle wrap on my right ankle and there's enough room in there to put that in comfortably nothing is too tight so i definitely feel like when it comes to the fit the feel, uh, these are a five out of five, you'll like that. And then I wanna also point out the soles here because these are, you know, if I had to pick one word as I'm running on the treadmill and I've actually run outside on these as well, they're grippy. When you're on the treadmill, they're grippy. You don't hear a lot of the squeaky stuff, they're grippy. And when you look at them, you can see, that's pretty easy to see that, okay, that looks like it would be grippy. Now. Sticking with the sole, the reason why I said you'll like these shoes is because if you look at here, let's get closer to that. If you look there, that's rubber. That means you can run outside in these and they're not going to deteriorate. Some of the foam shoes are meant to only run indoors. These are rubber. They will run outside. They will run inside on the treadmill. It doesn't matter. And then that gel technology does what it's supposed to do. Definitely helps with the absorption of shock as you come down. And, you know, I'm not going to say it bounces you back up, but it definitely, you feel it when you come down. Um, I like that as well. The shoe feels light on your foot, guys. Um, I have no complaints with it at all. I'm going to go back down and make sure I got all my notes covered here. When it comes to holding its value, I mean, it's well stitched. It's uh, well put together. I don't see any of the, the like sides coming in glued. Um, I don't see anything that happened like that in this shoe. I mean, it's actually doing a really good job of holding off dirt. You know, I've had them for about two months now. I don't see any dirt on these at all. And I, you know, like I said, I broke them in slow, but 
after you get to that 10 day point, it's like, okay, now I'm going to keep them. I'm going to try to kill them. And um, they're holding up well for me. I think they'll hold up well for you. Doesn't matter if you're indoor, outdoor. Like I said, the type of training that I do is one day I might run three to four miles and one day I might ride the bike. In two days I might train um, high intensity style. One day I might strength train and then shoot around, shoot baskets. So it's getting a wide variety of usage out of me and um, I've had no complaints with them. The quality of the shoe, the lacing, the stitching, um, you know, I think it's top notch. You got your high tech laces here. Um, even the shoelaces themselves, you know, let's just get closer on that. Even the shoelaces themselves, you know, they haven't split, they haven't spliced, they look like they're day one. Um, it's a quality built shoe. Now, compared to some of the other shoes that I've reviewed at this price, the $85 website price, um, when they come out with their entry level running shoe, I would say this is better than any entry level running shoe I've tried. Um, and I just say that because of all the stuff that you get with this shoe and the feel, the lightweight, the support, the gel technology does what it's supposed to do when it comes to cushioning impact, um, the durability, you know, it's not going to get super dirty on you. It's breathable. I definitely would give this a shot if you're in the shoe market and you want to run indoor or outdoor and you want something that's gonna hold up the inside of the foot, the, the sole, you know, you don't get that wearing, I haven't got to that point yet where it's wearing out. And uh, I don't feel like it's gonna get there as fast as some of the other shoes that I bought. You buy some shoes and maybe by three months, the inside of the sole feels flat, starting to itch you a little bit. I don't feel like I'm gonna get there as soon uh, with this shoe. So to me, this is a four to six month shoe, maybe longer, you might be able to get six to eight months. You know, as I always say, if you're getting to six months, you probably should replace your shoes if you can afford to. But at the same time, I could see somebody stretching this shoe out six to eight months, maybe even nine months if they're that one to three mile runner, 15 miles a week kind of person. I could actually see that happening just because of the name of the company and they understand runners. Um, if you have a neutral pronation, give this one a try. It's not bad. $85 on their website. I got it for $44.99. If you can find them for that, it is a steal. Pick them up. Uh, they come in multiple colors and um, yeah I mean this is the that's, that's it it's just it's a good quality shoe so once again this is the Asics Quantum Gel 90 running shoe it is an entry level running shoe they have higher running shoes at a higher price point you get what you pay for you get great gel technology in the back and then you get support through the midsole and then the forefront of the shoe it's gonna feel flat. It's gonna feel like your your toes are you know on the ground, that kind of thing. If you do sprints on the treadmill, it's definitely not gonna feel like you got big clunkers on your feet. You're gonna feel light on your feet. Um, if you do high intensity agility, left and right kind of thing, you're gonna stop. You're gonna stop on a dime. Like I said, they're grippy, and you're not gonna feel like you're gonna roll your ankle. So. I'm impressed. I'm glad I found these. I wasn't the biggest Asics fans, um, but I'm impressed. I'm glad I found these. They are holding up excellently, and um, I would recommend them. So if I had to give them a rating on a scale of uh, 1 to 10, I'd probably say they're about an 8.75 to a 9. Um, that's pretty high. There's not much that I would do different, but it's hard for me to give a shoe a 10 out of 10. So take that for what it's worth. Take that with a grain of salt. As always, if you are someone that's in the running game or you're someone that's trying to work out, you got questions on fitness equipment, you got questions on apps, you have questions on shoes, um, and you want me to review them or you want to know what I think about them, let me know in the comment section. I do try to respond to all my videos and um, I will definitely get back to you. This is an Asics Quantum Gel 90. It is a medium to wide shoe. It is for someone that wants to train indoor or outdoor. And it might be for you. And at $44.99, it was definitely for me. So that being said, smash that like button. Subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000. I'm at 960 right now. I need 40 more people to help me get to that 1,000 mark. And uh, I'll put out more videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.